Yes, today, I found this ARK's strongest group, so I would like to introduce it to you. So, I bought it when I went to Lothman the other day, and they were doing a pop-up. It may be happening locally now, so if you're interested, I'd like you to go and check it out. This Arcturix Biance or something is a model that is one rank higher than Arcturix. I've known about it for a while, and my viewers have been asking me to introduce it to them, but I don't know if it's Biance or Biance or something. But I was looking at the logo of Arcturix, and I was looking at it a lot and this was pretty good, so I would like to introduce it to you. So, first of all, I would like to start by wearing it, but this is a down jacket called Conduit Dan, and when I looked closely, I saw that it was sold at Beams and other stores. So it's not that you can only buy it at Loftman, but you can buy it at Beams, and I'm not sure if there is a direct store of this buyance. If anyone knows, please write about it, but as far as I can see, it doesn't seem to exist, but it looks like this. The size, this time I'm wearing a size M as for the size, it's really the same as the usual Arcturix. However, there are some completely different things, and I'm underestimating it now because it doesn't have the Hitsuken logo, I understand, but, I think that after 10 minutes, you'll think that it's a little different and that this is interesting, so I'd like to take a look at that. Well, if it's a size M, it looks like this. It has an atmosphere that is quite suitable for adults to wear. There are a few magical spices or secret ingredients, so I'd like to introduce them to you. But the thing that surprised me the most about this down jacket is that you probably won't notice it at first glance. What surprised me was that I went with this larger one, and if you look at it in full angle, you can see that it looks really cute, right? Ah, well, if you ask me, it looks mature. Well, I didn't tell you the price earlier. The price is 118,800 yen. It's like 108,000 yen plus tax. Well, it's in the mid-price range compared to the down jackets I'm introducing. It's not that expensive, but it's not that cheap either. There are a lot of ladies wearing Pyronex, called Pyrene, and a guy wearing Pyronex, called Pyrene, but it's in the same price range as Pyronex, so it doesn't feel super expensive, but I don't think you can tell by looking at it, but what I'm saying is that the pattern is incredibly beautiful. This is about what's good for us when we say a pattern is beautiful, right? Wait, the pattern is this design drawing, and it's like this, a pattern paper. When making clothes, there is a pattern that you cut to fit this pattern, and this is called a pattern. This is beautiful, and it makes it so comfortable to wear. Of course, the lining of clothes is also a factor in how comfortable they are. But it's comfortable because the pattern is good. It's also great that you can wear it without any stress. And you know, this can only be done by rich brands. So, conversely speaking, Uniqlo or GU don't have beautiful patterns. So, how do they hide it or hide the discomfort? They hide it by adding a French 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 French, or by making it bigger by calling it oversize. But if the pattern is not beautiful, you can't hide it by being oversized, as it is a type that looks stylish. How beautiful it is is that the moment you put your hand in it, it fits your body so well that it feels like someone just grabbed your shoulder. And this is definitely a characteristic of rich brands. There were other people there too. I want you to take a look at this. In addition to this down jacket, I've tried a lot of M65 types and mountain parkas, and they all have beautiful patterns. To be honest, I like and dislike them. There were times when I thought, wow, I don't like this shape, or I don't really like this design, but when it comes to the pattern, I thought that there aren't many patterns that are this sophisticated as a brand. To be honest, I've never thought that the patterns of regular Oterix were amazing. Well, I only think of them as an extension of outdoor brands, and although they're made a little larger, it's not difficult to move, but even though they're made quite tight, they've made the key parts bigger and smaller, and the balance is really well thought out. For example, they've made the armholes here to expand the range of motion, and when you raise your arms like this, for example, with a lot of cheap brands, if you just raise this area, the hem sometimes gets caught. When it gets stuck like this, there are some down jackets that are like, you're just a rusty down jacket, but if you do this properly, you can raise it up to this extent and there's no problem because the range of motion is still connected properly. And yet, this arm part is made very thin. If it were a cheap brand, they would just make the armholes big with bones, and if they make the arms big, well, they'll just cut them off. But if you want to do this, you have to make samples many times. I make down jackets myself, but there are almost no brands that have the money to make samples many times. Times. Basically, there is a deadline and they only make samples once. It's true. They don't make a second one. They don't make a second one and they make it once and that's it. Yes, all they do is sell it, sell it, and when the sale is over, they'll have a sale. That's what 99% of brands do. However, I think that only people who do this know that the pattern must have been redone many times and the prototypes must have been remade many times. That's why I think that everyone wore this. When you wear it, it fits really well, but you don't know why. The reason is that, first of all, the pattern is extremely beautiful. So it's not like the silhouette is beautiful. Something with a beautiful pattern is comfortable to wear. Because of that, it fits your body well and feels familiar. It's a jacket that feels like you're wearing a custom-made jacket, which is another story. The second reason is that this down is made with 850 fill down. At this point, I would like to talk about how I love down, everyone, but I think you'll understand if you look at it like this. But even if you put in the same number of grains, 
the umbrella will look completely different depending on the down filler. Because each grain is large, it's light, in other words, but it has a sense of volume. This is the down filler, right? So, everyone, I'm starting to get fooled by the down filler alone. There are a lot of smart people like me. Down fill power is not just fill power, right? Amazing. That's right. So fill power is the maximum wind speed at a moment. Even in typhoons, the maximum wind speed at a moment is sometimes 50 meters. But that doesn't mean that 50 meters is blowing forever, and this down is the same, and the fill power is 800 fill power for this one grain. It says that it was 850, but is that the smallest line of the shell and pulling it to say 850? No, it depends on whether you say 850 is the average of the middle of all the down, or if you just take a quick look at which one is the biggest and it's 850. If it's a down jacket with a minimum down fill power of 850, it could go up to 1000, which is the top layer. However, when talking about the fill power of down, it's basically talking about the average or upper so, so it doesn't talk about the lower line. So, to be honest, I personally think that this is probably an average, so if they use a fairly good quality down, I think there might be some with a filler of close to 900. Why I think so is that it uses goose down, it's not duck, duck down is not small, but goose down is large, so 850 is probably the average, or, well, even if it's a higher class 850, well, either way it's high quality, because if you think about it, isn't Pyronex 750 or something, it's the same value, so if there's a difference of 100 fillers, it's just a difference in luck, if you ask how much of a difference 100 fillers makes, it's like the difference between Yamcha and Goku in Dragon Ball, if there's a difference of 100 combat abilities, it's almost the same difference as a difference of tens of thousands. Because 750 fillers, you can use them even in Unicoro, and if you wanted to use 850, you definitely can't because of the price. The reason is that this down is purchased at a price of 1 kilogram, but this kind of down is 600 yen or more, and I think it's about this price. But it's not even 10,000 yen. You can buy it for 5,000 yen. That's right, 1 kilogram. It might be even cheaper, maybe. Then when it gets to 700 yen, it's 8,000 yen per kilogram. Oh, it's getting a little expensive. So, even if you give me 10,000 yen, this dumb jacket contains about 150 grams. So if you buy 1 kilogram, you can make about 7 pieces. So if you make 7 pieces and the down costs 7,000 yen, well, each piece contains about 1,000 yen of down. So it's about 800 yen. When it gets to the point where it's a little more military, it's about 20,000 yen. If you just raise it by 100, it will cost more than double, or even 200 times. So if you do it now, it will cost 20,000 or so, but it will probably cost almost 30,000. I think it will cost about 30,000 per kilogram. Now, I think it costs more than 50,000 per kilogram for this 900 Hilpa. That's why I bought 200 kilograms of it when I sealed my own down jacket the other day. I bought 100 kilograms, 100 kilograms, so you can see how much it cost in total. If I bought 200 kilograms, it was over 10 million. Just buying down is over 10 million. It's not a jacket. Pastner and other outer layers are different, but it costs 10 million just to buy this technique. But if you do that with the down used in 600% noses, even if you buy the same 200 kilometers, it's still only about 100,000. So it's more than a 100% difference. This 600 bars and 900F. For the price, it's worth it, and the quality is already good. So there are two things that come to mind. The pattern is beautiful and the down is solid. That's fine, but that's not all. I reviewed Arcteryx's specialty, the Cerium Jacket Blanket, here the other day, and I did it then, but this part is called Core Loft and there's no down in it. This is how Arcteryx uses down, which is familiar from the episode where they deliberately don't put down, but they put cotton in here because it's easy to get wet. This method is often used with the cerium jacket, but it's a method that Arcturix uses. Well, in this respect, there's not much difference with cerium, so I thought it would have been better to use down, but I did it anyway. And finally, the appearance is very simple, and since it's Arcturix, it uses ripstop and other things, so it's not just an ordinary fabric. It uses a fabric that is woven like this. At first glance it looks normal, but there are some good things that they put effort into, and that's how the straight flush of down was completed. It's a perfect pattern, but I don't think there's any other place that does this. I've seen them redoing samples many times with a perfect pattern, so it's not like this. First of all, the quality of the down is good for the first and second items. However, there are better quality items out there, well, it's good quality. And the third item is a simple look, but it also has some parts that make it look good. This is called the straight flush of down. So, this is finally complete, and I underestimated it at first glance, but is the fit really that great? And the warm. Of course, the fit of down is important, so the better the fit, the warmer it is. So I'm already sweating as I speak here. I'm already in a state of sub -naw. I'm drenched in sweat around here right now, but I think this is probably the most honest down I've bought this year. I'll also buy the 1000 filler ones. No, no, you say you bought something more expensive. No, that's it, but how it fits the body, this extra part on the side. If you ask me if there is any extra part on the bodice, it's really not true that this pattern is made so beautifully. So, everyone, please think of this as that straight flush of down and enjoy it. The reason why I suddenly mentioned Trump is because I am planning a trip to Las Vegas on November 11, 2025 to gamble and lose 1 million yen. I'm planning to take 1 million yen and gamble without bringing it back to Japan. Anyway, I'm going there and if I buy something, 
I'll spend that 1 million yen and buy a watch and go home. In other words, I won't be bringing that cash back. I'm planning to gamble with one car at a time, and in preparation for that, I came across the word, straight flush, when I was studying cards. So I hope everyone remembers it as the straight flush of down. I'm wearing a nice knit and gray pants like slacks with a down jacket. You definitely want to wear blue with this. But other than that, well, for example, if you wear cargo pants like this, it's all black, but well, I think it's fine to wear white on the inside, but even if you do this, it's still a no-brainer, so it works. So the simple look makes it easy to coordinate. It goes with anything. So, it's a down jacket that's very easy to use. But there are some disadvantages. First of all, I'll say that Arcturix is not good. To be honest, I've never looked at other Arcturix down jackets or other jackets and thought they were good. So of course I'll introduce them in the video. Everyone's watching, and there are people who want to see them. So I'll introduce them, but they never come. I've never thought that a pattern was good, and I've never really thought that they were particularly cool. However, regarding this bias, there is no logo, but there is a great pattern. I've been saying pattern pattern all this time, but conversely, they've focused too much on the pattern and the details are sloppy. This makes it a bit, well, it makes you feel like you don't have a sense of ownership. So, for example, what it feels like, well, from what I've seen so far, I can see that it's been restrained, but it's just these small details. For example, even if you look at the zipper, this zipper, no no no, if they were that particular about it, they should have made it a more proper one. I don't really get it. They use this regular YKK zipper. If they use a zipper like this, which Uniqlo also uses, I'd like it to be a bit more prominent. Well, Arcturix usually uses this. So it's the same for noses. Uniqlo is the same, isn't it? So it's the same as usual. But, well, it's another waiting model. And I thought it would be nice to have a little more detail after perfecting the pattern. And there's also an inner pocket. And I think that's probably the intention behind the inner pocket but the left one is pretty much on the chest, but the bottom right one is kind of on the lower side. I was wondering why it's here, and I think it's probably a disadvantage, or maybe there's some intention behind it, but it bothers me personally, and there's no drawstring here. So when you close the front, you can't fill in the gap here, and it's not because the elastic is particularly strong. There's a big gap here, and, well, the shape is nice and firm from this place. But isn't it impossible to make it tight here? The waist can vary by 10 centimeters or 20 centimeters depending on the person. So for me it feels like this part is quite loose. So I'm a bit like, wow, you're not being particular about that. In general, I often use double-breasted down jackets to expand the range of styles. I often use ones that can be opened from the top and of course from the bottom. But I don't use double fasteners at all. And there's elastic in the sleeves but it's not a solid elastic, it's like an extension of Adam, a little tighter than Adam. So I personally think that if I did that, I would get a better fit and it would be better if I used proper ribbing around the edges, which might be more expensive, but like the ribbing used in Blosens. With this cloth cutter attached, Faster looks the same as Uniqlo, and I personally find these small details a bit annoying, but I honestly think that the quality of the down, the quality of this down jacket is better, and the price is almost the same, but I think it's better, and even better than Store Island. But the equipment they use isn't that different from Uniqlo. So that's the only thing about it, the down jacket is high quality. But what makes it different is the pattern and the sheerness, and Uniqlo's jacket is called Bidet Volume Jacket. But if you compare them, you can see that the zipper is the same YKK zipper, and the price is almost the same, or it's a zipper that costs exactly the same and the elastic on the sleeves is kind of loose, but there's a lot of mud in this part so you can close it, but the fact that the accessories are a bit cramped, or that there wasn't any attention to detail, is something that bothers me a little, or it's a disadvantage, but I still recommend it to people who are looking for something simple, and the pattern and shape are just as simple. For example, I have this one from Uni now, and it's just as simple. It comes in black, so it's really really simple, but what happens is that you have to make it oversized to hide the shape. It becomes impossible to get a nice shape and a good fit. So, of course, it's fine to make it a little bigger so that it can be moved around, and to make it cut by people of any body type, but there's no way that anyone here has arms this big, and you have to make it into a design. I think that if you adjust the pattern here many times, you can make it a little slimmer, but it costs money, so what do you do? Let's escape to design. Design is the only thing you can do, so you can't tell at first glance, but if you know it well, or if you already own a few pieces, you'll see that it's a little loose, and you'll see that it's a way to cover it up with design, so I think that there aren't many patterns that are this beautiful. I compared it, but this unicorn one is of course good in terms of feel power, but this is medium. 
It's medium, so it was heavy. It's heavy, and this one is light, but it's the same with anything. But when you go from good to bad, you can really tell. On the other hand, it's hard to tell if something is good from bad. So when I use a cheap knife, it's not bad because it cuts, but I'm cooking. But the moment I pick up a good knife and cut, I'm like, what is this? Cars, well, if you've never driven a good car, no, I mean, light cars are good. I've always thought that anything is fine as long as I can drive it but I drive a light car. But if you drive a good car for, say, a month or two, you get used to the ride quality and the difference in driving. And the next time you drop it, you'll think, what's with this bouncy car? That's right, when you go from a good place to a bad place, people feel it really bad. So on the other hand, if you only have Uniqlo, you'll probably be moved when you see this, but you'll come to this world once. If you go to this world, you can't go back. You can't go back. So if viewers ask me, what is a cheap and good down jacket? I say, no, I definitely think it's a good one. But if they ask me, are you going to cut it off? I can't cut it off because I've worn so many good down jackets. I've become so unsatisfied with Uniqlo down jackets. That's true, and even when I casually wear it, it has a nice shape, so, well, what do you think of this? Well, even if I go to meet someone, I can go casually, but even if I go to a drinking party, I feel like all black is a little off. If I'm in this state, that's right. Generally, it has the feel of a person getting off a Mercedes or a round cruiser, but when it comes to this, it's like an extension of a college student, so a light truck or a mirror or a salesman might suit him. But it's a bit different, and it has the feel of a man who drives on the highway and changes lanes, but that lane is usually crowded. Oh, it's crowded over here, so I'm going to go a little to the left, but the left side is going to be crowded next. Oh, I'm really unlucky, and then I'm on that side, so I'll take the train, and then I'm on a crowded train, and I'm getting off from this station, so I'm going to take a quick turn, but when I'm in a traffic jam, I can't get out, and I'm going to. I think that even a slight difference in the pattern of clothes can make a big difference in the atmosphere and appearance. And I think that it's heavy and tiring for the person wearing it, and it's not warm and tiring, but I think that it can be done for about 110,000 yen or 100,000 yen. I don't think that this Arcturix Beance is particularly good this time, but if you try wearing it once with other jackets or not just down jackets, but something like an M6 or something like that, you'll understand what I'm saying. For example, I think people who have only worn Uniqlo until now will understand more. No, I've only worn GU now, but I'll try it once. Is it so much different just because the pattern of clothes is different? Yes, it is. It's the same with houses. Just because the design of a house is different makes the comfort of the house completely different. And I think that this is a brand that has been competing with timid lighting that has not run away to oversized items. So please try it on. However, I haven't received a single penny from this company. So if Bions becomes popular, I'm thinking about buying some Arcturic stock. Well, I'm thinking about making some profits secretly, but personally, as I said before, I don't really like or dislike Arcturics, so I had no intention of buying it at all, but the pattern was so good that I ended up buying it. So, if you look at it by price, for example, under 50,000 yen, under 100,000 yen, under 150,000 yen, under 200,000 yen, under 300,000 yen, this is the down jacket that I thought would come out somewhere, and if I did a recommendation of 7,000, this might come out, so I thought that this down jacket was so well made that I thought it would come out, so I introduced it this time as a straight flush of down jackets. Well, the simpler it seems at first glance, the deeper it is. And it's interesting to hear people like this talk about it. If you look at something that's full of gimmicks, you can see it. So I don't really need to talk about it, but the more I talk about this, the more interesting it gets. So I'm going to talk about it today and introduce you to Arctelsi's down jacket. I hope to see you again sometime. Thank you. Ah. Ah.